Okay, I'm back. Uh, I did the other side. Uh, what I did was, I took the, the two that were here, I moved them over to here, and I kept the top one on top and the bottom on the bottom. Now, this lever is going to control what that lever on the right hand side used to do and uh, the lever on the left is going to be controlled by the right lever this time and for the outriggers all you do is take take it's these two right here in the center you take the top one you put it in the bottom on both of them that way there when you push forward your outriggers will go down when you pull back your outriggers will come up it just seems like more of a natural way to do it push away go down pull come up and I'm going to try uh, this uh, new setting here uh, to see if I can operate the backhoe a little better I know I I'm not a very good backhoe operator at all I'm real jerky so uh, I figured uh, I gotta try something and maybe this will change the way the hydraulic fluid uh, flows to uh, my backhoe as far as going up and down and in and out. Maybe I'll be a little more uh, consistent, not so jerky. Well, we're going to find that out. So if you want to stay with me, I don't know if my hands are going to be in the way or not, but you see what I'm doing. You're going to lose a little bit of oil. When I say a little bit, I mean a little bit. You're not even going to get an ounce of oil loss. So uh, you don't have to uh, worry about losing a, enough oil where it's going to affect anything where you have to add more oil. And whatever you do, make sure you don't cross thread these things because if you do, you're in a world of trouble unless you can chase it with another one. So just take your time and... I say you don't want to cross thread them and trying to line it up is a little hard because the hose doesn't belong over on this side and the camera's kind of in my way there we go no nope. come on Feels like it might be getting cross-threaded. Start over again. <clears throat> now everything looks good. And when you tighten these things, they don't have to be super tight or anything. Uh, matter of fact. If you're going to do it, pay attention to how much pressure you had to use when you took them apart so you know how much to apply when you put it back together. And I'm not having very good luck. Naturally, when you're filming it, things don't always go right or as easy as you would think they would. It's kind of awkward in here and there's no way to get the back hole out of the way to get in here. Oh, come on. Uh, boy, in, oh, in case you're wondering, this is an 18 millimeter wrench. And I'm not having any luck starting this on film. Wouldn't you know it? Come on, there we go. It feels like it's going on okay. Yeah. When you take it apart, you want to start at the bottom, work your way up, and just reverse it when you put it together. You want to start at the top and work your way down. Hopefully this is going to work out the way I want it to. 
As long as the outriggers go down when I push forward, that was my main concern. And if this doesn't work, then I'll just change it back. It's just time consuming, but it's no big deal. You're going to have to move these on an angle. <coughs> oh, that's number one, number one, that's number two. Make sure you clean. You don't want any dirt, any, in my case, sand in anything. <laughs> Just take your time. I say this got to be boring watching me do this. So uh, if I knew how to edit, I'd stop and fast forward and all that neat kind of stuff that you people know how to do. You got big fingers, you're in trouble. Hey, you catch a couple threads, would be nice. Aha. Okay, take my time, make sure I don't cross thread it. Oh, it didn't catch. start it'd be nice oh come on now it's better take my time than rush it and Wreck it. Oh, man. plan on this taking this long put these back on I think we might have it doesn't show too bad. Nope. Darn it. This is going to take forever. If I would have known that, I would have... Oh. Not filmed any of this until I did the very last one. Have to split this video up 
because I don't know how to piece them together. After I get them all put back on, I'll make another video showing how the controls work. Sorry about that. Thanks for watching.